Actually, I got sidetracked. Working on the small world problem. For the small world problem, we asked people in Kansas and Omaha to mail a packet to a person in Sharon, Massachusetts. The instructions are simple. There's a target person. In this case, a stockbroker named Jacobs in Sharon, Mass. Assuming they don't know this person, people are asked to mail the folder to someone who might know him. They can send it to a friend, relative, or acquaintance, but they have to send it, and this is key, to a person they know on a first-name basis. There's a roster to fill out and a batch of postcards to mail back to Harvard to track the process. Will it work? We don't know. A woman in Omaha sends the folder to a high school friend, a bank clerk in Council Bluffs, Iowa. She sends it to a man in Belmont, Massachusetts, a publisher, who sends it to a tanner in Sharon. The tanner sends it to his brother-in-law, a sheet metal worker, also in Sharon, who sends it to a dentist, who sends it to a printer, who sends it to Mr. Jacobs. Seven links in the chain. The average chain, in fact, involves 5.5 links. That is, we determine that less than six degrees of separation exist between you and several million strangers who you may or may not encounter in your lifetime. When we understand the structure of this communication net, we stand to grasp a good deal more about the fabric of society. Maybe it's not necessarily justified, this common human complaint, the feeling that we're all cut off, alienated, and alone. <laughs>